All right, it is time to try out the brand new LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku here for the Tanabata Celebration 2023. His animation, right, is sick. I love the Kamameha and the swirls. So good right here. And we've been running him under a free-to-play team. But specifically, we'll run double of him uh, since it's actually better overall for the team. As he's leader skill GT heroes as well as full power. There's not really a 120% leader for free-to-play. And uh, except for the GT Juniors, which is only for GT heroes, so we wouldn't be able to run units like the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan or the Jackie Chan, um, which is quite a big deal for this team, I would say. Anyway, his start of turn defense was 240,000. This is nice start because we get to receive five attacks for him, which is enough for him to exchange. We'll go into standby. So let's jump into this turn. Big problem with free-to-play units is that there's nobody good linking-wise for him. And uh, that means that Uber is one of the best linking partners he has with GT and Legendary Power. This Goku in the first slot has a total of 40% damage reduction. And when he receives an attack, there's a 70% extra defense. So he's tanking his super without any items free, um, which is good. It's only when he's in the first slot. But in, if you put him in the second slot or third slot, he still has 20% damage reduction. And his super attack raises defense for one turn. His ultra super attack raises defense for four turns, which is all good. We get the additional super attack, which is what I recommend you guys putting onto him. Wow, that um, glitch right there. <laughs> Did you see that? Um, because then you get the more defenses for the turn. He has inbuilt critical already. He has a um, high chance to critical in this form if you're doing ultra super attack, which is good. Or you can get dodges, because if you dodge, you still get the 70% defense for three turns, which is still fairly good. And if you run him in the first slot unit, then, I mean, overall, he's just going to be, like, a great, great first slot unit. You'll just lose some attack, that's all. Um, in this form, 7 million attack stat, nothing too crazy. It's not, like, the best unit I've ever used in terms of damage-wise, so... Yeah, nothing crazy yet. Key issue's not a th really a thing, because every orb he gets, it gets, like, double the amount. Which is good. Luckily, he's not restricted in getting like a 24 key super yet. Uh, that is until he transforms. I do want a Whis here because version Z Goku looks kind of scary. And we will go into the standby skill next turn. Which is going to be cool to see. We can get a little dodge there. Why not? So yeah, 8 million with version Z Goku support. Super tag is lovely. I love the lighting on that Kamehameha too. So good. Now, in a double 200% leader for this free-to-play team, there's 700,000 HP, which is crazy. What happens when you have um, five L six LRs? Six LRs on the team? So much health. And it's like, majority of them are under the 200%. It's just hybrids and pure Saiyans. Jackie Chan is not in it, unfortunately. And Oob. Kind of sucks, but I mean, Jackie Chan's still very good, even with the 170%, as you can see there. Even though we had a Whis, so it doesn't matter. A Whis is still active, so we're pretty much safe here. I'm going to go into the standby here. One bad thing is if you run double 200% of him, you can't stand by them both, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly new to the standby stuff. If you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, so I appreciate it if you could help me get there. Oob, let's go. Let's first um, sell Max. Now, in this form, he has, if you grab three or more orbs, guard, guaranteed. And for every orb obtained, just for one turn only, remember that, one turn only, he gets 10% um, damage reduction per orb. So grabbing these seven orbs here will get him a 70% damage reduction. Bad thing is, we are not able to attack. But he has 642,000 defense, which is still fairly good even without any damage reduction. Um, with Oob, he gets tough as nails as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, we still have Whis activated. And uh, you can see how much orbs we've gathered. We need 30 in order to transform into the full power version. So let's try and do that. Should only take about two turns. If not, then you are fairly unlucky. Fairly, I would say. Let's just hope Oob doesn't take a super. With 700,000 HP and Whis activated, this doesn't really matter too much. Uh, he's going to tank this, no problem. He is... 
120, 110,000 defense is like, it's, 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 nothing's gonna happen. The OST is sick too. Can't wait to hear the um, transform full powered one. Hopefully we can beat Cell Max here. We have done three bars, which is good. Super attack here, fine. Damage reduction on damage reduction. You could probably swap out B Pan for the Roshi, because Ella Roshi is in full power. I just like Pan a little bit better because she has damage reduction. She has GT. Sometimes it might be useful. Um, I don't think. I think overall Roshi is going to be a bit better. You do might have to use like Weezes more often compared to majority of the other times. But um... oh wow, do we use a Weez again? Is that the play? Do we risk it? I think we risk it here. I think we risk it only because when we do go into um, the standby, we do get a full heal pretty much. So it's kind of helpful. Double digit damage. Let's go. No waste this time. Super attacked once. You can super attack up to three times. Nine million attacks, that's pretty good. The fact that is because he has high chance of critical, I will accept that. I wish he had type advantage though. How sick he would have been. So we have two Tanabatas that are int and good first slot tanks. Uh oh, we didn't super. I think with 700,000, with 40% support at the end, surely Goku tanks. I've never used Goku on the double 200%, but he took 39. That's not bad. Gohan, we know he's fine. He's fine. Double digits. Even the super attack won't even budge half. Not even half. So good, so good. See, when you have like over 700,000 HP, 200,000 damage is nothing. It's really nothing. All right, we do have the 30 orb, so let's go and transform into the full power, baby. They added pan to this. In the original scene did not have pan. Oh, the crack! I never heard the audio, I didn't think it cracked. Holy. So in this form, he's pretty much an upgraded form of his uh, older form which now he has 50% damage reduction in the first slot. You get guaranteed critical if you are doing a 24 key super. It has to be a 24 key super. So that's pretty much the downside there if you fail to get orbs. Uber, if he was able to transform at some point in his life, he would be a good orb changer. And then 77% um, defense for five turns after receiving an attack. And 150% uh, attack when super attacking as well. And he gets orbs. He gets 200% attack and defense and 7 key at the start of the turn. So he should be all good. Uh, activates guard for one turn. And all attacks are critical for three turns from appearing. So he's he's in a good spot. He's in a good spot. Um, I'm going to just note item here. With Jackie Chan's 50% damage reduction should be all good. There you go. He's got his defense now. 16 mil! Sheesh! Guaranteed crit. Let's cook. Let's cook. I love the super attack too. Tanks this, even though it's type disadvantage. Tanks this. But he still stacks for four turns on his 18 key and uh, the defense as well. Yeah, do the double super. Waste all your supers there. Nothing. It's nothing. Luckily, uh, Oob may be a little bit like uh, lackluster. <laughs> but it's all I got, man. He's a support still. It's just most of these linking partners are literally Super Saiyan 4s. Because he has Saiyan Raw. Imagine I had Saiyan Raw activated in Super Saiyan. And fierce battle. He'd hit like 20 mil. Easy. Guaranteed critical. I'm throffing <laughs> on the potential that he has. That I will never be able to use. Oh, we're going to take a super attack here. It's going to be a decent amount. But not enough to kill us. Oh, he could have dodged the... Um, super. Alright, I probably will Whis here. Now, we can use the standby skill. I'm not too sure if I want to. <laughs> if I was to run this, ideally, I would explode out this Goku 
so that he would meet up with the full power so they get all their links activated. But on a free-to-play team, you just can't afford to do that, unfortunately. Um, so I'll just leave it like that. And um, yeah, we'll just continue running this. We'll float out Pan, because hopefully by the time she comes around, we'll have Goku nicely buffed. It's going to be nice. Eight mil. Yeah, he pretty much doubles his attack on transform state. It is kind of a big setup though, because I mean, if you get lucky, you attack, take all the hits at the start, then it takes only about to turn five. But like I just did then. But sometimes you just don't get that luck, and it is actually takes a long time to get to that form. Which can be annoying. And of course, if you fail to get 30 orbs for some reason, because he does change orbs in his standby skill, you know, you, you could have that potential where you don't even transform and then you wasted like two turns essentially, plus of just being a non attacker. All right, so we still got Whis activated, and here's. Ooh! Okay, the rainbow orb does provide a little bit more, which is good. It scared me a little bit. We still got Whis activated. Let's go, let's go. 15 mil. If only Gorohan supported int. It's age of tech and physical. But type advantage here. Oh my god. We're gonna kill next turn. Without the pan. Oh no. Oh no. We'll see, we'll see. It's int next turn. Oop, you didn't have to double super. I guess it says something. If we didn't transform with Oop, this team is nasty. Alright, this team is defensively okay. Um... Well, that's kind of disappointing. It looks like I'm, I'm just going to throw out everything here. Just to use the active skills and then call it a video. Hopefully, guys did enjoy today's video, though. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. Uh, please help me do that. Uh, June has not been the greatest month of all time for my subscriber count. Honestly, on God. Um... And if you want to support the channel even further, you don't have to. Uh, you can become a member for just a dollar or five dollars and get your name shouted out at the end of each video right here. Thank you all to all the members. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this Goku. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video I do. And we'll let this play out. Watch Goku get the final attack here. Yeah, I would have liked to get the final KO screen with the uh, full power. Yeah, because he apparently has a unique um, end KO screen in full power form. Goddamn.